So we have reached the final lesson of my online guitar course. We're going to be looking in depth at the Wait Until Tomorrow guitar solo from the Where the Light Is DVD. This is in every guitar player's favorite key of E minor pentatonic. Starting in the first position. So we're starting on this big bend on the 14th fret on the G string. So it's kind of got this funky rhythmic feel. Again, I'm muting unwanted strings with my first finger on my left hand and my thumb around the neck here. It's got this loose feel. So up next is that long descending pentatonic lick. Starting on the 15th fret, bending up the 17th, hitting 12th on the E string, 15, 12 on the B, 4 on the G, straight back up to that 12th fret on the E string. So 12, 15 on the B, 12, that blues note on the G string. After that 14th fret, we're hitting the 15 on the B. So 15 on the B, sliding down from that blues note. 12th fret on the G, 14th fret D. And we've got a big bend on the 12th fret, using our first finger. That can feel a bit strange, bending with your first finger. Just try and make sure that you hit that 14th fret note. Then after that, from bar 26. So we're just going down a descending E minor blues pentatonic. Starting from bar 27, same type of thing, still descending down a E minor pentatonic. Notice as well with my right hand, I've got that constant rhythm going. That is the beauty of this solo and style, you don't need to sound out every note perfectly as long as you keep that rhythm going. And then from bar 28. So that's 14th on the G. And now we're just going to riff between this 15th on the B string, bending up the 17th, and then hitting that 12th fret on the E. right hand is constantly going with that rhythm. You can practice this on other parts of the neck as well if you want. Bar 31. We're still in that first position minor pentatonic. Big bend on the 15th. Then starting from bar 32, we've got the same. We're going to do a quick change into the first position minor pentatonic at the bottom of the neck. That is quite a fast change. So we've got quite a quick change here. So when I'm sliding down here, I'm sliding that 4th fret G, 3rd fret B. So all 
we're doing here is just riffing in that that first position minor pentatonic. Again, it doesn't have to be exact as long as you're in that vicinity. Keep that right hand rhythm going. After that, on bar 34, we're sliding into the third position minor pentatonic on the seventh fret. So that's seventh fret E. Fifth fret on the A string. The seven. Fifth fret D. So now we're going into the octave section. So we're starting in the first position minor pentatonic, 12th fret D, 15th fret B, sliding down to the, sliding down a fret, and then sliding down to 9 and 12 on, on the D and B. Then we're changing to root on the A string, 9th fret, 9-11. So we're going from 9-11 to 11-13, to 12-14, to 14-16. In terms of the right hand here, the rhythm is switching up. The first stroke is a down stroke, coming back up. And then there's two down strokes. When I come back up, I'm only hitting the E, A, and D string. So practice this rhythm slowly and gradually build it up. Once you're comfortable with that, add in the octaves. bar 37, we're back to that 12 and 15 on the D and B, and then we're sliding up to the 14 and 17, bar 39, so all that is is 12, 15 on the D and B, slide up to 16 and 19, back to 12 and 15, and then on the A string, we're going 12, and on the G, 14, up to 17 and 19, back to 12 and 14, and down to 10 and 12. Again, that right hand is constantly going with those 16th notes. Then on to the next part. Same thing again. This time when we go to the A string, we're going to do an ascending passage. So that's 12 and 14 on the A and G. 14, 16. 12 and 15 on the D and B. 14 and 17 on the D and B. 16 and 19. Then we're changing to root on G, we've got 14 on G, 17 on A. And then we're sliding up to that 16 and 19. So from bar 43, fast right hand movement, just sliding up from the 14-17 up to the 16-19. So starting from bar 45, we've got some double stop. Same rhythm as the first lick from this solo.
We're just going through some double stops here on the 14th fret. <laughs> got another descending pentatonic lick on bar 48 and then we're going straight back to the double stop on the 14th fret on the G and B so we've got this E minor pentatonic lick, 12th fret E. And we're finishing off on this half step bend on the 14th fret on the E string. Got that Steve Ray Vaughan type lick. Hammering on and pulling off between the 12th and 14th frets on the E string. Then we're just descending through the minor pentatonic. Now we're back into first position pentatonic down at the bottom of the neck. Again, you can do anything here as long as it fits within the confines of the pentatonic scale. As long as it fits in rhythmically. After that, this leads us into the final section of the solo. This is all double stops on the G and E string. I recommend learning each shape going up and down the neck. So we've got 16, 16, 14, 14, 13 and 12, 11 and 10, 9 and 9, 7 and 7, 6 and 5, 4 and 4, 2 and 2. Get familiar with those shapes. The more familiar you are with them, the more free reign you've got when soloing over this section. So the first section here is... Descending through the shape. So once you've got those shapes down, try and play along to that example video above. Just to get the phrasing and rhythm right. Second time. Diff as slightly as it goes back up. Third time. We've got the same right hand technique as we were doing with the octaves earlier. That down, up, down, down, up rhythm. On the final time, we're going to do quick 30 seconds notes. So practice that slowly and gradually build it up. Try and keep a loose right hand in that section. So the final section all together. So that is the end of the solo. I recommend going through section by section, play along to the backing track and sample video above to get comfortable with the phrasing and rhythms used throughout.